Quick snap. This quick snap is one of five covering the fundamentals of defensive back play. It's a shorter part of an hour, 20 minute video that I put together that covers all the fundamentals that we coach our defensive backs to be able to execute. If you want to check that out, there will be a link to the description down below. Uh, I'll also put a link to all five videos that will be released through the course of the week. So that way you can go check those out if you missed any of them uh, or you're looking forward to them as they come up. As already mentioned, this is going to be all about defensive back fundamentals. And in this quick snap, we're going to focus on the defensive back's ability to keep a vertical stem and stay on top of a receiver to keep a horizontal stem and typically stay inside of a receiver or potentially outside if the coverage dictates that. And then lastly, the defensive back's ability to recover in what we call trail technique and get back to that on top, inside or outside position that they should have within the coverage. You checking out the channel for the first time, our defensive philosophy is we want 11 defenders using simply yet sound keys to attack downhill, pursue, and make swarming tackles with uncommon effort, energy, and enthusiasm. That includes our defensive backs. To accomplish that philosophy, we believe that every sound defensive scheme relies on a force defender setting the edge. Again, defensive backs, that typically will apply to them as much as possible within our scheme. Inside defenders filling gaps, an alley player, and a backside cutback player, a counter player. The alley player and backside cutback or counter player is, again, very often the defensive back. All defenders must have simple and sound keys and reads in order to attack blockers and pursue the ball carrier. That, again, includes our defensive backs. When can they become a run defender? What key gives them that? And we prefer to spill, and ball, spill the ball and kill it on the perimeter because it allows for consistent run fits so we play fast, pursue downhill, and get all defenders pursuing to, to the tackle. If, if you don't spill the ball, uh, you're, you're, you're playing down a, a defender, in my opinion. At some point, the ball needs to be spilled out to that force defender uh, to get them involved. Fundamentals for defensive back play begin, just like all our positions, we need to have the correct alignment and stance to execute the assignment to aggressively number one cover, and then secondarily pursue and tackle on every single play. Our goal is to always leverage the receiver or blocker based on your assignment every single play. Are you a deep defender? Are you a down defender? Going to force the ball? Are you a free defender? And, and you get to help out uh, wherever your keys tell you to help out. Regardless of the coverage, the primary key must be covered until the receiver is no longer a vertical threat. Is it an in-break, out-break? Do I know if somebody else is able to cover this guy? Um, and lastly, any secondary key should be first leverage to be covered for a pass until a clear run rate is provided. We, we've got four defensive backs on the field. We need those four guys to cover the deep routes so the other seven guys in the defensive front can do their thing, whether that's rush the passer or uh, provide the primary run support. All our drills, there's a list of them. Uh, fundamentals is coverage. That's what they need to be able to do. Uh, secondary thing, which ends up becoming more important over the course of the season, but just align properly so that way you can execute those pass coverage fundamentals and then have the ability to be a tackler. you got to tackle as a defensive back in any sort of defensive scheme that relies on spilling the ball to the perimeter. All, all Both our corners and safeties will be asked to be force defenders. And then um, a variety of run keys and reads, which I think are very important teaching defensive backs. Uh, otherwise, you're stuck playing uh, seven on eight, seven on nine. You, you need to get the DBs involved at some point in your run fit. So real quick, four clips. Uh, top of the screen, Taekwon, he's a junior. He's in the game. A teammate had an injury, and he gets beat. But he provides trail technique. He recovers. He makes the tackle. And, and he keeps the touchdown from happening. And I, I, the reason I want to show this, defensive backs got to have a short memory. And their job is to prevent the touchdown. If they do nothing else but prevent the touchdown, maybe what you're about to see here ends up happening. Here they throw hitches. Kid gets a nasty hit when we get to the end zone camera. Uh, so Taekwon ends up kind of saving the day. He puts us in a spot. All right, teammate makes a play for him. We stop the hitches. And now they go throw the slants here. And Taekwon comes back, makes the play, 
Great play on the ball. Works his horizontal stem. Knocks the ball out. And again, he has given the defense a chance to make a stand here. And, and not only did he do it, but he's helping make the stand. And that all leads to now it's fourth and seven. We get a decent reroute on the seam here from our outside linebacker. And our safety, Zach, picks it off. Gets a big pick before the half. Keeps the end touchdown off the board and has us in great shape. The number one skill that our defensive backs have to have is what we refer to as a vertical stem which is the defensive back's ability to keep vertical leverage on top of the receiver the classic don't get beat deep uh, the vertical stem drill that we use to teach it uh, is emphasizing and helping those defensive backs to develop their ability to stay on top and in phase for the drill defensive backs align somewhere between five to seven yards off the ball and one yard inside the receiver is going to run vertical for three or four steps, change the speed, then run vertical for three or four steps again before changing speed yet again. Um, ultimately, we are teaching those defensive backs to play that second move, that, that first move a lot of times by the receivers to try to set up, uh, try to set up beating that receiver and, and eating up that vertical stem. After the second speed change, the defensive back is going to man turn, getting hip to hip to stack and run the route while on top of the receiver. So just real quick, that's kind of what the drill looks like. You're going to get, uh, again, you're playing that, that second move. You're playing that second move. You're trying to stack and run the route with the receiver. Here it is in camp. Uh, for the drill right now, the ball's on the right side of the screen. You see the two speed changes. You're going to man turn, stack the hip. There you go. You're in your back pedal. And again, when that vertical stems ate up, you want to man turn, stack the hip. Here we go. Coming from balls on the left now. That's, that's how simple the drill is. Nothing, nothing earth shattering here. Coach, Coach Stevens there working, explaining, explaining the drill to the guys. This is our, our install day one. Uh, back in uh, 2020. So balls to the left. We're going to match the speed. Man turn, stack the hip. Change the speed. Man turn, stack the hip. Back pedal, change the speed. Change the speed. On the second one, turn and run. So here it is in a game. Uh, you're going to be looking at the bottom of the screen, our cornerback. This is perfect. That route's run by Levi. Levi's playing corner for us out there. Like he is running the route of the receiver. Helps we got a little pressure. The ball's got to get out. But right there, great position to not just make a play on the ball, but almost have an interception. Now we're looking at the top of the screen again. Here's Taquan. Like that's perfect. That's perfect. He's stacked on that front hip. There's no chance of, of, of the receiver making a play. Now, this is going to work together. Ultimately, we get, get good vertical stem out of number five, Sincere. Ends up trail just a little bit, but he's stacked by the end. And then we get horizontal stem drill uh, out of Zach there coming over, making a pick in the playoff game. Both guys top of the screen. We already got the uh, man turn by the corner. The safety putting arms on, hands on. The corner right there. The guy's stacked up. That's why we get the sack. Top of the screen. Real good job by Caleb here. Plays the man on top. Able to play the ball through the man. And again, the whole point, the whole point is let's play the man. If we play the man, we'll be in position to play the ball. Top of the screen. Real good here by Sincere. He's all over it. So he's able to play, again, play, play the man, but play the ball. Good job by the uh, slot defender here. Apologize about that. Man turns almost immediately. He's in position to play the ball because he's playing the man first. The next drill after vertical stem is horizontal stem, whereas vertical stem was teaching how to play with vertical leverage. Horizontal stem is going to teach to play with horizontal leverage either inside or outside of the receiver based on the coverage. The horizontal dr stem drill, the number one rule is, is nothing crosses your face. You're trying to keep that original inside, typically leverage, uh, on the receiver. 
the defensive back for the drill is going to line five to seven yards off, two yards inside. The receiver is going to run vertical for three to four steps, break inside, then run vertical again for three or four steps before breaking inside again. After that second break, the defender is going to attack the near hip and chops the bottom arm while hitting with the outside shoulder, beginning a tackle while making a play on the ball. That's what the horizontal stem drill looks like. Again, we're teaching the guys to react to a double move. So that's why we have two breaks within the drill. And the key is uh, we want to break on the ball, play through that near hip, and, and make a play on the ball coming off of the second break. Some film of this. Real good job by our cornerback. Number 23, Caleb. He ends up getting a, a post corner. Let you see it one more time. Okay, he's he's gonna squeeze. He's outside leverage right now. He's outside leverage in our our, our our two read coverage, and he's he's leveraging the ball to the safety. The second that that guy ends up breaking back, all right, Caleb's like, well, he broke across my face, and now I'm I'm playing inside leverage. I gotta work my butt off to get back and make a play on the ball. Like, heck of a job. He plays through the near hip. Just a heck of a play. We got uh, right there. A lot of times the horizontal stem drill, that's going to more so happen with our safeties than our corners. Real good break on the ball by Kenyon to come up uh, and make the interception. Huge play. Huge play. Top of the, the bottom of the screen here. Zach, the receiver breaks out. He's hustling hard to go make a play on the hip. He does, makes the tackle. Almost forces a fumble. The ball comes out late, though. That, that, that's the right call. Uh, top of the screen, our, our defensive back, Sincere. Great job, horizontal stem. That receiver, he's got his vertical stem. Receiver puts his foot in the ground. He's going to break on that near hip. Plays through the man, gets a piece of the ball. You're going to see a safety come on the screen here. Again, making a play on the ball. The receiver breaks inside. He needs to break on that near hip. Play the man through to the ball. Right now, uh, you're going to see our safety come on the screen. So both the corner and safety know that they can cover deep here. If the corner plays that more aggressively, the safety safety is on top inside. He's got horizontal. He's got a horizontal stem. Got a chance to play the ball there. Unfortunately, the corner misses the the pick. Right here, horizontal stem. Big hit by Zach. I'm gonna argue his head's his head and his helmet below the receiver's helmet. Um, one of those things. He's he's keeping his horizontal stem though. That that ball. He sees the man, he goes, plays the near hip. Our linebackers are going to be helpful on this. Right there, you see Zach driving down on the near hip. So he, the ball almost ends up picked. Bad throw by the quarterback, really. End zone camera, this isn't a great example. Right now... We're playing our, we're rolling our, our coverage to the trip side. Our safety's keying the number three receiver. They got a, a fake jailbreak and go. You see him takes time, glance back at the quarterback, plays the near hit, plays the ball. Legal hit. He's underneath. Coming down, playing, playing the man. Okay. All right. The ball gets caught there. So what? Big deal. 12-yard game. Let's play defense. Real good end zone shot. We're playing straight man-to-man -man on this. I'm aiming for the near hip. Ready to make a tackle. So we've talked about vertical stem drill. Let's not get beat deep. Let's. We talked about horizontal stem drill. Let's not get beat uh, inside or outside. And ultimately, as a defensive back, at some point, you are going to get beat. Just like I showed on, on the opening clips where, where Taekwon got beat, he ended up in what we refer to as trail technique, 
what we coach guys to do when they are beat, when they are in trail technique is recover at all costs. Do what you got to do to make sure you make the tackle so that way the defense can play another down and maybe two, three plays later, we make a turnover happen. So at recover at all costs. We also teach those defensive backs, uh, if, if you're not going to be able to make a play on the ball, play, make a play on the man. We'll take the 15 yards. 15 yards is greater than six points. We'll live with that. Again, get the defense to play another down. Uh, the defensive back faces the, for the drill, the defensive back's going to face the opposite direction of the receiver. A line two yards inside and even with the receiver, the receiver is going to take off running while the defender man turns. The defender closes, tracks the near shoulder. You're going to play the man. That is the emphasis. Anytime I'm in trail technique and pulls down the near hand arm when the hands go up. You're playing the man and his hands, not the ball anytime you're in trail technique. That's what the drill looks like. Uh, should be offset. It should be set so that way that uh, offensive player is actually even with the defensive back. He's got his toes on the blue line. Offensive player has his toes on the on the blue line. Uh, and again, they're about a yard apart. I put them a little further apart when guys are cheating and grabbing and stuff. Because again, the, the the emphasis of the drill is turn sprint. Do your best to get back on top if you can, and play the man the whole way. And then the last part, the key thing. You don't play the ball, you play the man. When the arms of the receiver go up, you're going to pull those arms down. You're, you're, you're playing the receiver's hands, not the ball. Some trail technique examples, bottom of the screen here. Mike gets beat, definitely. He does not look back for the ball. He plays the man. You can see right at the end of the play. Let you see that one more time. Right at the end of the play. Receiver's hands are up. He's looking back for the ball. The receiver is looking back for the ball. Mike knows, put my hands up. Great, great trail technique out of Mike. Going to have it at the top of the screen. 100% playing the man and not the ball here. He sees the hands goes up. He just plays through the man because he knows he can't play the ball and happens to play the ball because he played the man. Real good at the top of the screen. This is Caleb. Beat a little bit. He plays the hands as they come down. He knows he's beat right here. He's, he's darn near on top. But he's, he's beat because that kid is tall from Schoolcraft. Hands are up. He punches up through the hands. Ball's out. Take it back a little bit here. This is end of a half, little trick play. DB, really close to being on top. With where the ball got placed, he ends up in trail technique. Play through the man. End zone camera actually gives us a pretty good shot here, I'm pretty sure. We're rolling to our sky coverage. And as much as that's trail technique, that's also on top. Play the ball. Play the ball because you're playing the man. If you've got great position on the man, the receiver's hands go up, play through the hands, you make a play on the ball. Going to see uh, right here, trail techniques actually by Levi. You see him, he, he peeked in the backfield. That's a no-no. All right, something crossed your face. So you you've both lost the horizontal stem and the vertical stem at the bottom of the screen. Turn and recover. He holds the shit out of him. But because he's hustling, both routes end up in the same area. Tevin tips the ball to him. We get an interception. Big play, end of game, fourth and nine. Lots of crazy stuff if you go back and watch this play closely. Quarterback almost falls down. We almost get a sack. Scramble drill happens. Ball's thrown really well. Our safety makes a play on the man. Right there. He is punching up through the arms, and the ball's out. Great play. Seals the victory. 
for us. Right there, Noah definitely in trail technique. He just does everything he can. Plays the man. And, and, and a flag happens. Well, you got to teach defensive backs. I'm not, hey, you're hustling your butt off. I'd, I'd rather you not be in trail technique. Let's be on top. So that way we don't have to pass interfere. But make sure the defense plays another down. Again, we might get a situation like I showed at the beginning where we get to play that, that extra down. Real good here. See, Taekwon, he just plays through the man. He knows he's beat. He's not on that top hip. He's he's on the bottom he's on the bottom of the hip. Play through the man. Make those refs have to throw their yellow flags. They don't want to throw a yellow flag every single time there's a pass play. It's here at the top. Does everything he can to try to recover. And that receiver, uh, I believe he's a decathlete at uh, the University of Michigan. Sincere on the bottom of the screen. And I'm arguing he gets back on top. The amount of pass interference, eh, there's probably not a lot on it. I'm not going to argue he's all over him. Like, that's a fact. Right there, that, that's probably why he ends up. He, he's got that arm outside, and that's probably why the call ends up happening. Which... He, again, no big deal. You tell Sincere, great job. You, you, you kept the ball from being a touchdown. Thanks for checking out this quick snap on Coaching Football with Brian Klee. Please follow me on Twitter at Coach Klee. Subscribe to the channel, Coaching Football with Brian Klee, by clicking down below. And if you have any further follow-up questions, email me at coachbrianklee at gmail.com.